Hello friends and welcome to Ravi Maza's another episode. In Ravi Maza, we always try to study different types of water purifier technologies. So first of all, we are uh, looking at a reverse osmosis membrane, and today we are going to understand what is membrane folding, and can really uh, membrane folding can be reduced or removed with help of a uh, vinegar or uh, baking soda. So uh, we will try it. Let's start. So first of all, we will remove this reverse osmosis member. This was used up extensively, and uh, here I have some plain water. So let's open up this reverse osmosis element. Sorry. Uh, let's open up. Can open it from here. This is a quite clean membrane. we don't have any scaling over here if there is some amount of scaling not much okay friends so hope you can see the scaling over here it's not much but it's little bit you can visibly see check it out this is uh, this membrane was not much used, so there is not enough scale deposition. But still, we can have a test on it. At least we can check on it that uh, we can check those study the scaling. So I'll first I'll cut two pieces. After cutting the membrane, uh, we can see the inside part where the water, the purified water actually travels. This is the inside part where the purified water travels and reaches up to the center rod. So now we have two sheets which we will cut for sample. Okay. This is the one, this is the two, we will separate them. We let it this be one. Let me cut from here. So it will stay straight. Okay. This is another part. This is one part and this is another part. So this is the inside mesh. I hope you can see some scalings over here. Not much, or I'll search some another part where there is a visible scaling. Scaling can be seen. This part is there where we can see the scaling, so I'll cut it. Okay, so here is the part where we can see the scaling actually. This is the scaling. And I wanted such kind of papers that we can at least see the result. Uh, whether then uh, both of the sheets we have here. So one I'll be putting little bit of vinegar on it to check the outcome. I am soaking it in vinegar. 
okay and and in another i'll be putting high alkaline i'll be taking some water and i'll put the baking soda in it I'll put baking soda to make it rich alkaline solution. Highly alkaline solution. And I'll put it on the sheet over here. So this is the citric acid and other one is the baking soda oh sorry i was saying vinegar and here it is baking soda this is with vinegar so we will let it stay for some time and we will uh, again join to see what effects do happen uh, and here I have a bonus where we will actually mix both of the elements to see if any effects actually happen and here we will mix both of the solutions and here I will be putting the it's not staying straight I will put first the baking soda water alkaline solution okay and then we will put some vinegar on it to see what happens nothing happened Yeah, it's happening, but it's not visible so much. If I put too much of baking soda, then you can see the neutralization reaction. I hope did you you saw that action reaction? Sorry. I hope it will certainly affect I don't know what exactly it will cause to happen let's see okay here I have some black cap and I'll put some baking soda in it then I'll put some vinegar in it and see what happens. Ooh. This is called neutralization reaction. So now I'll take a cloth, piece of cloth and clean all the sheets to see if any effect happened. First I'll clean this sheet. And then we'll observe it closely. Uh, okay can see that some areas uh, actually the scaling was removed in some areas which came in contact with soda I think or this part the baking soda 
now we will check the baking soda water scalings and I will rub it clean it with the cloth and to my surprise and to my surprise actually I can see majority of area I don't know if you can see that but uh, majority of the area is uh, been scaling is actually uh, removed okay I have some light to see now okay uh, now we can see exactly that uh, certain areas can see that now you can see see certain areas the scaling is removed mm, the sheet is visible because you can see like that this was with baking soda hmm? and this one with baking soda and caustic soda so now let's see what happens with vinegar only give me some time let's clean this one see whether it helps oh my god oh my god this was not at all expected with oh my god oh my god this is really shocking I mean this is really shocking you can see the majority of the scale is removed with vinegar oh my god this is showing that vinegar actually removed the scale deposits from the cleaning the sheet so I'd like to repeat this uh, experiment so we can make it 100% confirmable So I'll take some another sheet which is having some little much more fouling. Okay, we are having here a sheet which is having good amount of fouling. So I'll cut it. now we are going only vinegar so we will keep this shit over here like this cut this sheet okay and we will write only vinegar and let us can see it's uh, synthetic vinegar or we'll pour it on with help of a tablespoon and let it soak for some while and let us see what happens after some time So we don't have anything to do within the meantime. So let's give another chance to our baking soda and let's give him another chance. Uh, let it be. Vinegar is fine. So I'll do one thing. I'll soak this. I'll show you this this which is uh, scaling you can see 
and soak it entirely in this baking soda solution for some time I will put some more baking soda So we will see what happens in both of the cases and uh, vinegar is quite costly thing you cannot means actually it's cost too much vinegar but it's fine if uh, it will clean your membrane then it's absolutely fine so friends I don't want to cut this video that's why I am talking with you so this is my effort effort to prove that you can use vinegar to clean a reverse osmosis membrane this is a simple vinegar which is used in a food food grade vinegar or you can say acetic acid that is again uh, and I have poured a little amount just to soak this so let's try let's try for half I didn't give enough time for that it should have been a little more time okay should I go for the entire sheet yeah okay so here we are friends you can see a majority of the scaling is removed with vinegar majority of it I'll say majority if I, if I would have let it soak a bit longer uh, then the results would have been very good so let's give it a chance for this one this is our alkaline solution that's caustic soda okay give it a thoroughly uh, little bit scaling has been removed little bit but I'll tell you this one is remarkable you can see both of them then you'll understand what I want to say you can see the spots that is the scaling and the white part is totally removed uh, scaling removed so friends uh, let's jump uh, towards my conclusion that Yes, citric acid is capable of removing the fouling of membranes but again uh, using citric acid uh, may change the pH of the product water so it might require too much of flushing after using of this citric acid so I'll be making a video soon how you can use citric acid or sorry uh, the vinegar to clean the reverse osmosis membrane so up till that please subscribe to my channel please like this video and thank you very much for watching this is prasad from review maza hope this video has helped you thank you take care good day jai hind